Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Soup Baking. Thank you very much for tuning in to today's video. We are going to be making some really, really yummy sugar cookies today. Um, if you don't have a heart cutter, don't worry, you can use whatever you have around the house or any other cutter shapes as well. I promise they will taste amazing any way you cut them. So we've got the recipe, uh, the ingredients here. Um, we've got 285 grams of plain flour, 150 grams of caster sugar, 110 grams of unsalted butter. Um, now this can be Guernsey butter, I know it's a lot harder than normal butter. Just make sure it's room temperature. Um, I'm using Lurpak at the moment because it's a bit softer. Um, but that's there, and then we've got one egg. You will also need um, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. First I'm going to add my um, butter and sugar to the bowl. And we're just going to want to mix this just until it's all nice and combined. It will probably take about 30 to 60 seconds. I've got my smeg mixer here, but you can use a hand whisk, electric whisk, anything you want, any sort of mixer. Um, I've got on my paddle mixer um, attachment, um, just because the dough gets a little bit thicker, so you're going to want to keep up with that. So we're just going to turn it on to a medium speed for about 30 to 60 seconds. So that's looking lovely and it's nicely combined in my bowl just here. Um, next we're going to add the egg. Now this is um, just a one free range egg. And we're also going to add in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now this is a nice and simple recipe because you can basically add in the rest of the ingredients all together. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I've got my flour here I'm going to put in next along with some baking powder and my salt. I'm going to put in half the flour. It doesn't have to be exact. and our salt and our baking powder again get that on the mix until it's nice and combined the second half of the flour goes into the mix Again, just mix that until combined. It's going to start to get a bit thicker now. Okay, so that's been about 30 seconds. It's uh, pulled away from the edge of the bowl, made the rest of the bowl look very clean. That's how you know it's ready to go. I'll just take the rest off of here. So this is what it should look like at the moment. Now this is the fun part, we've got to flour the surface, just a light flour. Um, you don't want to go too heavy on the flour because it will make your dough very dry. So just a little bit over the top, then we're going to roll it out and start cutting our shapes. You can use a sieve for this but I've got this nifty little device. So let's get our dough out. And 
now with nice clean hands, we're going to just knead it together a little bit so it starts coming together. Just a few times until you can get it into a nice soft looking ball. Just like that. Right, so grab your rolling pin, just get a bit of flour on it to make sure it doesn't stick and just a little bit of flour on the top of your dough and let's start rolling. Now it will start to crack a little bit but that is all good. Just keep turning it and getting it rolled out. Okay, you want it to about half to probably about a quarter of an inch thick. now. If you don't have a cutter, you can use anything else you can find in the home. This could be a, a mug or something that will just plonk out just fine. But I've got some cutters. So we've got some nice hearts here. We're going to cut them out one by one. Okay, so I've got all my shapes cut out. And what I'm going to do next is I've got a baking tray here, just again lightly dusted with some flour. And I'm gonna take off the extra dough. And don't throw that away because we can save that and cut up some more in a second. And just very gently pop them on your tray. Okay, and then just roll up the excess knead it together and roll it out again and once you get to the end of your dough if you don't have enough to make another cutter no worries just shape it by hand and make whatever you want okay so I've got the cookies ready to go here we, this uh, recipe probably makes about 14 15 cookies um, about regular size but whatever shape you're using you can get a nice uh, lot of cookies out of this so we're gonna pop this in the oven at 170 for about eight minutes. Okay, so that's our cookies out of the oven and they look and smell delicious. Now you just want to bear in mind that they are a little bit soft still when they come straight out of the oven. So you're gonna to wanna to leave them on that baking tray for about five minutes, just so they start to set. They'll get a bit harder so you can scoop them off onto your cooling rack um, so they can finish cooling down. Okay, so that's our cookies all done. And don't they look amazing? They smell great and they're still a little bit warm, which is the best time to have them. They are really soft. So when I break it apart, oh, look at that. They smell really nice. So these can be decorated any way you like. Um, they are enjoyed amazingly with a cup of coffee or a hot chocolate just as they are they're so light and fluffy um, or you could put on some buttercream some royal icing, uh, royal icing get a bit decorative with it um, or even just some chocolate spread if you like to throw on some sprinkles as well and they will look and taste amazing I promise you so that is the sugar cookie recipe I hope you enjoyed it and Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see any more, then please uh, leave a comment below and let me know what other things you'd like to see baked or decorated. This is the start of many videos, so I'm sure there's a lot more to come anyway. But if you've got any suggestions, let me know and I will see what I can do. Also, if you have tried this recipe yourself or done any variations, then please feel free to post a photo below on my Facebook page um, and I will love to see all of them. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye! Mmm, that's good.